Destination reached. Laguna, Swamp City. Let's see if I can find anything about Dr. Kvasir here. Ranger Walker, you've got messages. Ranger, haven't seen a ranger in a long, long time. Now you look a bit lost to me. We fought back to back, your kind and mine. Back in the war. Name's Mo Rummy. I'm just an old vet who keeps an eye out for the people of Laguni. Been living here a good long time now, and I know just about everyone. Do you know anything about a Dr. Kvasir? Scientist, real old? Haven't heard that name since just after the war. He moved into the deep secreto, and then went completely off the radar. Nobody's seen him since. Anything else you can tell me? Well, the area around his base is usually awful quiet, on account of the heavy old security. But lately, there's been a whole lot of noise coming from that part of the wetland. Okay. I'm gonna check it out. Should be it.
I came looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. Let me just... I see. Uniform is wartime issue. Modified for use in eco-pod fortification. Vineland, no? Then you must be... Yes. Second generation artist. How fascinating. Vineland, yeah. I'm pretty much what's left of it. You check out. Hold on, I will let you in. Dr. Anton Kvasir, genius scientist with a shifty past, original Arcist, pre-Apophis. They said he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. Not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's an impressive setup, Dr. Kvasir. Kvasir, yes, my lab suffices. Yes. <clears throat> my research used to be more mechanically inclined, but over time the machine, as it turns out, failed. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my ARC mainframe. I know you now. Your parents, hmm? such a tragedy when they were lost. But Irvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead. Oh no. She was... Formidable. I was always hoping to. But alas, no. It was a massacre. An unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns and huge. Taller than any building. And they were led by a man. General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. Him and his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. Yes, of course. Prowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about uh, six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanotritary programming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you say six years? Yes, thereabouts. Science cannot be rushed. <laughs> yes, it can. Better computing power. <sighs> but alas, my lab is old and tired. Only the elusive Eco-15 still in orbit could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The Eco-Pod still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. Remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it. To 
siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm. Yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yes. Wait a minute. You knew I was going to volunteer to do it, right? Yes.
Doctor, I'm approaching the Eden Space Center. Ah, yes. It might be overrun by road scum, come to think of it. But that will be no problem for a ranger. No problem at all. We're here, sport. Doctor, I made it to the Space Center. It's in ruins and, like you said, overrun by thugs. It should pose no problem to you. And as for Eden, well, it was built to withstand anything. Let us get you proper access. Press palm to hand scan in the reception desk. Well, look at that. Excellent. Now, allow me to give you full access. Hey, Doc. Better hurry up. Road goons caught the scent. Wait and hold. the sound of that. Ah, yes. Better to take no chances. Now you have full access. President, the Ecopod mission control is on the third floor.
personnel. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Made it, Doc. Excellent. Now, look for the central computer. Who will initiate the recall procedure for Eco-15. Still in orbit. Recall sequence approved. Beginning EcoPod recall. Thank you, Madam President. May you bring about a new Eden. The EcoPod has entered the atmosphere. Onboard temperature readings indicate thermal shielding is uniform. I will handle the rest. This better work. The elevator's still running. So far, so good. Here we are. You have found it. Turn it on and let me handle the rest. That big supercomputer will soon be dancing to Kvasir's tune. It's all powered up. Everything seems to be in working order. Fantastic. The Dagger Project will now... I am getting a reading from outside the Ecopod. You have authority battle mutants homing in on your location. I'll take care of them. Doc said, authority needs. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs>
The authority mutants are no longer a threat. You're good to go. Ah, so swiftly, too. You surely are Prowley's successor. Right. So now you're gonna get to finishing up your part of Dagger. Yes, indeed. With this setup, it will be a breeze. Plus? Plus? I will have ample time to prepare other feats of science which will be beneficial to you. Like? Ah, different projects of a scientific nature, all of which will help you get stronger and tougher, and ultimately be able to, how you say, kick the authorities' butt? Sounds good to me.